today I'm gonna be opening up a $10 Pokemon tin versus a $1,000 Pokemon tin. I'm gonna be starting at the $10 tin and we're gonna work our way up all the way through until we get to that $1,000 tin. In total, I'm gonna be opening up over $2,000 of Pokemon tins. But which one will have the best pulls? Let's find out. All right, guys, I am super excited for this. We're going to start off with the $10 tin. So I'm going to cut right into this. And just so you guys know, every single tin is in its own box. So you won't know what they are until I get to it. So make sure you stick around for the entire video. Trust me, it is going to get crazy. All right, so our very first tin is a tiny little one. It's only a $10 tin. But this is the Kanto Mini Tin from 2019. Now, it looks like there's going to be two booster packs in here and a few other items. I don't know if these have evolutions packs in them or not. I'm not 100% sure. In fact, I've actually never opened these up before, so I'm just going to find out with you guys. But this could potentially take the win. That's how crazy it could be. All right, so. Oh, and it is nice. We have an evolutions pack on the top there. Oh, we also have this beautiful Entei coin. So the Blastoise pack artwork could have the Charizard here, which could go for hundreds or thousands of dollars depending on the condition. And then we also do have a Crimson Invasion booster pack. And it looks like we have a little insert in here for Mewtwo. Very cool. This is going to be the smallest tin that we have here. Um, I'm going to start off with the Crimson Invasion booster pack just to see, um, you know, how we do, you know, get warmed up a little bit here. This is definitely the much lower priced uh, booster pack. This might actually be the lowest priced booster pack uh, for this entire opening. But we're going to start off with a Fairy Energy. But I'll tell you guys, it only just takes one really good card to make it happen here. We got a Mill Tank. Magikarp, Remoraid, we got Maggie the Monkey, come on, Parablast, Ghastly Reverse, and our first booster pack, oh, he's gonna have a full art, Golem GX, <laughs> that is amazing, actually, I was not expecting that, oh my god, that is a really nice start, well, I was not expecting that, we have a card that could potentially be worth $60 if it were to grade a perfect 10, but next up, we have Evolutions, which has some crazy potential. The pull rates are usually really nice on this thing. So let's see what our first uh, Evolutions pack is going to have here. Or maybe our last one. This, this, this might be the only one of this opening, honestly. Let's see. We got a Nidorino. And then after this, we're going to move on to our next tier uh, for these tins. We have the Spirit Link, Pokedex, Magnemite, Pikachu. We have a Machop. Weedle, so we got those OG Gen 1 Pokemon Do Duo, Pokedex Reverse, but the rare is gonna be a Dugong. Why they put, why they gotta put Dugong in as a uh, rare? I mean, come on. But if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you let me know by smashing that like button on the video. Also, subscribe if you're brand new here, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any videos. But here we go. $25 tin is going to be a very special tin, actually. So this is actually a tin from, I believe, the dollar store. They're pretty um, cheap, or they usually are, but they go on eBay for around $25 to $30 now. And I'll show you why. I'll, I'm just going to show you. We have a Gardevoir Hollow card right on the top here, but that's not where all the action is. Check this out. Whoa, card's going flying. Code card. Check this out. Check this out. Boom. There's a bunch of packs. That one, actually, that one's just on the top there. This is a Sun and Moon base pack, but you might notice it says only three cards because these are dollar packs, and you get a ton in here. Let's see what we got in this one. Sword Shield base. We got a bunch of these. We got a lot of these. Cosmic Eclipse in here as well. Three of those. So basically, if you don't know how these work, these are pretty risky because you only get three cards, and you're not even guaranteed anything. Not a reverse, like nothing. You could just get all commons in a pack. We actually got a non hollow rare there. Um, but like just nothing, but here's the thing you could potentially get Some of the greatest cards in the set I mean you have that opportunity just by grabbing these one dollar packs So I thought you know what let's grab the twenty five dollar tin and just see if maybe we get super lucky and just Possibly pull something really crazy out of these uh, booster packs. So this is sword shield base you can oh there you go Okay, we actually got a reverse. That's not too too bad from a dollar pack. You can still make it happen though I've done it before. I pulled a rainbow out of some of these. I pulled four. Arts. Okay, another reverse, which actually isn't too bad at all either. Um, we're going to see if we do better than that, though. Usually the hit is going to be right in the middle slot, I believe. So these are really easy just to crack open and kind of see. If you get super lucky, paying a dollar. All right, we're actually all the way through the Sword and Shield base set packs. These go by pretty quickly, but we got three Cosmic. If we're going to get a hit, I'll take it in Cosmic Eclipse. And then after this... 
it's really going to start heating up. I mean, the tins values are going to be going through the roof here right after these two packs. So nothing in that one. Maybe we could do it. Otherwise, this one is going to be completely out and definitely not going to be the tin that's going to win this competition here. Uh, the first tin, though, the $10 tin is actually winning. Nothing out of that one either. So the only thing we got really was this Gardevoir that wasn't even in the packs. It was just on the tin. Uh, this one from the last tin definitely is winning, though. Now we're moving. We have a $250 tin inside of this box. By the way, if you haven't already, make sure to leave a comment down below in the comment section and let me know which tin you think is going to win. I mean, literally any of these have a shot to win. Well, at this point, except for that last $25 tin, that one's definitely not winning anything. But... Our $250 tin. You guys might be able to see it already. It's going to be a Zekrom EX tin all the way back in the year 2012. This thing is over 10 years old, and it looks absolutely amazing. So it looks like you get one special EX card, you get four booster packs, and you get an online code. So let's crack this open and see what we got. I mean, as for the packs that are inside, I really have no idea. I'm going to assume that they're all probably going to be from the black and white era. If we do get like a pack or two that it's from an era before this, that would actually be amazing. But oh my, look at this amazing promo card. Are you kidding me? That's just the start of this. Zekrom EX with that awesome looking yellow um, and black color scheme there with the lightning. That actually looks really, really cool. This one actually looks really clean as well, I gotta say. All right, let's see what we got in here. So we have, oh, here's the uh, code card. That actually looks, dude, that's one of the coolest code cards I've ever seen. Zekrom in the back there, and there's the code card. Oh, dude, we actually got the pack artwork, too, for Zekrom from Next Destinies. That's a really nice set. Oh, we got two Next Destinies. Why not? We'll take two of them. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, Noble Victories, pretty solid as well, honestly. And then the final one is going to be Emerging Powers. Not the best set, but um, with these three other sets next to that, I think it's going to be a really, really good opening for this tin. Let's see if we get some good hits. So let's open these up in order of value. So this is going to be the lowest value out of these three sets. We have our Emerging Powers Booster Pack. So the thing with this set is there's not a lot of hits. I think there's only a couple of full arts that you can actually pull out of here. Pokemon was still kind of messing around with the pull rates during the Black and right, White era and... Uh, they kind of didn't do enough on some of the really early black and white sets. So this is going to be one of those. If we do get the hit, though, it would be amazing. But we start off here with a Lilligan. We got Saw. Did I, I'm already thinking about the next one up because it goes 500 and then there's just craziness. Just from this this point on, Joltik. See what we could do. Woobat. This tin could take the lead very, very easily. We got a reverse here and the rare. Oh, is a non-hollow bear tick. Moving into Noble Victories next. Okay, this definitely has much better pull rates. This is also from 2011. So there's a lot of black and white era sets that were released in 2011. Um, I think they were just releasing sets like left and right um, in 2011 for some reason. But here we go. We're going to take three from the back on this one. If we could just get one really good hit um, out of one of these packs, I mean, that could be it. The 250-10 could definitely take the lead. Let's see what we can do. Panseer. Larvesta. Come on. Reverse N and the rare. Oh, a Gigalith non hollow. I still really like that Zekrom um, card that we had there that we didn't even pull. It was just on top of the tin. That thing is amazing. But we have Next Destinies up next. And this one is from 2012. So pull rates on this one are really good. So I think we definitely do have a really good shot on uh, one of these Next Destinies packs. Maybe both of them. Let's see. We got a really cool looking code card on here. Come on, let's go. $250 tin. Can we do it? We have a Starmie to start it off here. Let's go through these uncommons. Luxio, very nice. Very nice theme with this set as well. Next Destiny. CDOT. Riolu Shinx. Reverse level ball. That's actually a really cool artwork. And the rare. Oh my gosh, we got a Persian non hollow. After this booster pack, we're going to move on to the $500 tin. So it's really going to be heating up in here. Let's see if we can end off our $250 tin with something crazy. Um, we got our code card here. Pikachu on the front looks really good. Three from the back. We can only just cross our fingers on this one and hope we can get one nice hit. We have a level ball now, but it is a not hollow. Starmie's back again. Cricketone. There's that really cool Pikachu artwork. I love seeing these old sets. It's like, even if you don't pull something amazing out of them, just being able to open them up is just unbelievably fun. Super grateful to be able to do this, so thank you guys for the support. Oh, there's our reverse. It's a common, but let's see what our rare is. Oh, there we go. Articuno Hollow to end our $250 tin. Beautiful pull, man. That is 
absolutely gorgeous. Black and white era has these really cool um, lines that go across the whole hollow. Looks really sick. This is about to be insane. We have a $500 tin up next. Now, actually, all of the tins from here on out, I have never opened up before. And they have some incredibly rare old school booster packs inside. I'm so excited for this. I hope you guys are as well. But here we go. The $500 tin is really going to pack some meat. We have... A diamond and pearl tin. I don't even know what's in here. Um, one diamond and pearl booster pack and two EX era booster packs, as well as a Lucario um, holo card. I think it's a holo. On the back, 2009, like 13 years ago, this thing is so old that it not only has diamond and pearl booster packs inside, but also EX era, which... Both of those eras are some of the rarest, and I'm literally just cracking this open right now. This tin is so sick. We got Lucario, and it is. Let me see. Here we go. Here we go. It is a hollow number two out of 17. That promo alone is really good. I think this one might have it in the bag at this point. But oh my gosh, you guys see this. We have a Power Keepers booster pack from the EX era. That is insane. Oh, no way. <laughs> Yo, I don't know if you guys can see that. No. Oh my God. This is one of my favorite EX sets of all time. EX Holon Phantoms. Dude, we can pull a Gold Star Mewtwo. We can pull a Gold Star Gyarados. Pikachu. I don't know if this is guaranteed to be in here. I, I was not expecting it. Dude, a Holon Phantoms. Oh my God. Yo, what? We're going Gold Star hunting. We're going gold star hunting. This is probably a top three favorite EX era set for me. I can't believe I got a booster pack of this right here. And I think there's one more, and it is also a diamond and pearl mysterious treasures. Do you guys see this lineup? This isn't even the last 10 either. All right, we're going to do them in this order, I decided. Mysterious treasures is going to be the first one from the diamond and pearl era. <sighs> oh my god, okay, let's go. Mysterious treasures. Um, I know there's Typhlosion here. This is 2007. That is insane. All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on. For alligator, maybe. Maybe a level X card. I think I'm going to do three from the back on this. Let's do that. I'm so pumped for, uh, for, for this pack especially, man. All right, let's go. 2007. We got Dugong. These, these packs are so old. Dodrio. Let's go. Shinx. Look at these artworks. I barely have opened this setup before. We got a Tota Dial Dice. Gen 2 starters, baby. Magikarp and Chikorita. We're pulling them all in. Totodile, Chikorita. That's a beautiful artwork. I think we're coming up on our reverse. Oh, we got a Chansey reverse. Very nice pull. We're going to hit our rare right now. Three, two, one. Oh, Nido Queen non holo. Wait, wait. I actually forgot for a second. There's gold stars and power keepers as well. We could potentially pull out one of the evolutions Flareon, Vaporeon, or Jolteon as a gold star tons of amazing EXs, but then uh, we, dude, double double the amount of uh chances here for gold stars i'm so pumped for this right now i can't we're not even on the last one we're not even on the second to last 10 yet all right i gotta take a breath i'm actually kind of like okay <sighs> ready 2007 on this one as well oh my god here we go here we go here we go and you guys know all on Wade, 100%. Everything's good to go because it's straight out of a sealed tin. It doesn't get much better than that. I love getting booster packs this way. It just makes it just a lot easier to trust. You don't got to worry about it. All right. I'm going to do... I'm just going to do two from the back, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm too nervous. Okay. We're going to start off here with Scott. Good old Scott. Okay. Hey, Scott. Good to see you. We got a Bichoke. Here we go. Oh, my God. Snorunt. So, 2007. 2007. Root Fossil. Pulling a Gold Star is incredibly difficult. It's like one in two booster boxes. But really cool EXs in this set as well. Like Skarmory, Shiftry, Hollows. Just opening this up is amazing. We got a Charmander. This, the cards just look older. Just old school. Super old school. We got a Magnemite. Ooh, we got a Lantern Reverse Rare. Let's freaking go. Lantern with that cool Power Keeper stamp. Number 15 in the set. It's basically a hollow. It's pretty much a hollow to me. Well, we're going to hit our rare right now. Three, two, one. Woo! Are you kidding me right now? An EX 
Power Keepers Hollow Bayonet. Dude, let's go, baby. What a friggin' pack. Put it in the sleeve. Ah, put it in the sleeve. Oh, my God, dude. What is even happening right now? This is so fun. Here we go. 2006. 2006. Oh, my God. Okay, here we go. We could potentially pull Gold Star, Mewtwo, Pikachu, or Gyarados. And the Gyarados is... Oh, okay, okay, okay. I just gotta stop talking and go in for this thing right now. Holon Phantoms. There's so many Deoxys cards in here. I think I'm just gonna do like, I don't know. Two from the back, maybe? We'll play it safe. I, I can't, I don't know. Here we go, here we go. All right, we're starting off with a Cedra Uncommon. Un I can't even talk on this pack. Uncommon Delta Species. It's the fire type Delta Species cards. Whew, here we go, okay, that's a non-Delta Species. So they're mixed in here. Mysterious Fossil HP 50. Kabuto Delta Species. I love it when it's the electric type. It just makes it look so cool with the yellow border. Magikarp Delta Species as well. We've got a Core Fish. All right. I think the rare could come up at any second here or the reverse. Woo! There we go. We got the Fire Energy. Oh, my God. That is sick. In reverse. It's pretty much an entire hollow. Okay, I'm nervous on this one. We're coming up on the rare. My heart's beating. My heart's beating. Oh my god, yo, come on! Yo, are you freaking kidding me right now? Oh my god, bro, what? Those both, I knew I had a, such a good feeling about both of those EX packs. Pidgeot, Hol I actually did the pack trick right. Pidgeot Hollow, that is absolutely amazing. Delta Species. Yo, this tin, I can't, this tin is amazing. But if you thought that was crazy, I have a $650 tin up next. Guys, if you are enjoying this again, make sure to smash the like button. I will continue doing series like these, but I will tell you one thing right now. This video, I think is gonna take the cake. What else do we have in store? for us in this video. The $650 tin right now, then after this one, we're at the $1,000 tin. Inside here is a tin that could potentially blow our minds even more with the packs and pulls we get. But I have right here a Rayquaza EX tin. Now this might look a little weird to some of you guys, but when you see what's in here, you're gonna think it's crazy. And as the saying goes, strong outside, Stuffed inside. One holographic promo card. Two booster packs from the EX series. And one cool sheet of foil stickers. Woo! Here we go. Oh my god, what year is this? 2004! 18 years ago! Oh my god, this is gonna be so much fun to open. I've owned one of these before with the legendary birds on it, but I've never actually opened one until right this second. Guys. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh, we got Plusle and Mine, and even just the artwork on the tin itself. There's also another sticker seal here. I'm just gonna cut that. There we go. Oh my god, what packs do we have? I'm nervous. Okay, here we go. First thing. Woo! Okay, yeah, that, that's cool. That is definitely fitting of being a cool sheet of hollow stickers. Wow. Plusle, Mine, and Rayquaza. That is an unbelievable artwork right there. Look how reflective that is. Okay, I'm kind of freaking out right now because I don't know what EX packs are going to be in here. Let's see what this first thing is. Oh, dude. This is where this Traco comes from. I've seen this before. It was just loose in there too, guys. Wow. Okay. Traco Hollow. Number 16 Black Star promo there's a swirl right there next to his face it has a little bit of a curve to it or it's bowed a little bit but that shouldn't really be too much of an issue at all as long as it's not bent question is are we going gold star hunting again pack number one Woo! ex hidden legends there's no gold stars in here but it has some of the coolest ex cards inside of here like kyogre Groudon, and all the reggie reggie rock reggie steel reggie ice this is gonna be a ton of fun our second booster pack, though. 
Yo, not even bad. Fire red, leaf green. Let's freaking go. We got a shot at Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise. And also, I got to say, we have a couple shots at Mr. Mime. I just got to put it out there so it doesn't jinx us like, like we always get you. All right, we only have two booster packs. We did get this really amazing Trico as well, though. But we're going to see what we can do. We've been on a spree with our EX era packs pulling just straight fire. Let's see if we continue it. So this pack, uh, 2004 as well. I believe this is one of the earliest EX era packs here. Come on. Let's just continue this trend right now. So these are tricky with the pack trick. Tricky with the pack trick. Uh, I'm just going to just gonna play it safe again. We'll just do like one from the back maybe. Um, all right, let's go. We got a Nuzleaf to start it off. 2004. EX Human Legends. Machop, watch out! We got mining. Did we get plus little? Oh, we got Cyndaquil. Amazing pull. Meditate. Okay. We got Rhyhorn. Oh, straight to the fire! Another rare reverse. It's the Nine Tails with that amazing pattern of energies and that crazy fire symbol on the bottom there, dude. What's the rare gonna be? Then? The other rare. Oh, Matang. Non holo rare, dude. Not even bad, though. Spinda in the back. This is the final pack here for our $650 tin. Fire red, leaf green. There's an insanely beautiful Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur in here. Um, this is when they remade the original games, red and blue. And this set correlated with it. This is all the way back in the year 2004. I remember playing the remakes. This is a step back in time right here. Official Nintendo seal. If we could pull a Charizard out of here, I don't know if anything could beat that. I don't, I don't know if the $1,000 tin could beat that. All right. Watch we get a Mr. Mime, though. Just watch. I'm just going to do a casual two from the back. Hopefully that's fine. It's just guesswork with these EX sets. And we're good. Okay. Nidorino is our uncommon. Let's continue our spree of just massive hits from our EX packs. Three really good ones in a row. Even though the last one didn't get a hollow, still had an amazing reverse rare nine tails. Hollow. Or reverse hollow, whatever you want to call it. Rowl it. We got Pidgey. After this pack. Oh, baby. The Charmander's here to warm us up. But after this pack, we're going to move on to the $1,000 tin. That's going to be the finale, guys. Do Duo. We got Krabby. Coming up on our reverse, I think. Woo! Another rare reverse! How do we keep doing it? The rare symbol down the bottom, the star, is a hollow pattern. You get that with the rare reverses. We got this really cool Pokeball logo there in hollow. The hollow pattern looks amazing on this Kingler. Oh my god. Are we ready for the rare, though? Let's just do it. Three, two, one and a half. One. Holy! <laughs> How is this happening right now? We're just pulling fire! Oh my god! What is even happening today? Moltres Ian! I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought for a split second it was a Charizard. I was about to engage the rockets in my seat and I would just be gone. Holy. Oh my god, how are we this lucky right now? We just keep outdoing ourselves. And I forgot it's a secret rare! Oh my god, dude! I forgot this is the secret. It's not only an EX, it's a secret rare. It's a secret rare. Number 115 out of 112, so we get the cracked ice. I guess our $650 tin is winning right now. What do you guys think? Let me know if you're still following along here. We're getting this out of the way though, because I have the most expensive tin that I have ever opened. This is a $1,000 tin of Pokemon cards. We are at the finale here, and I cannot begin to tell you how excited I am to open up this one last tin. This tin is so rare that I've never seen it before. And you can bet I've never even touched the tin before. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the $1,000 Raikou tin from the year 2010. It contains three booster packs and two special foil Pokemon cards. Not just one crazy hollow in there, but two. 
I don't know what the two could be. I don't know what all the packs will be. But we got the legendary beast on the back. The Volcano Pokemon Entei is ready to erupt. If we could continue with the crazy luck that we've had today, I don't even know what the next stage of the like the pulls would be. I can't even predict it. All I know right now, too, is that even just the promo cards on here, in here, are so crazy beautiful and sought after. I, I can see what one of them looks to be. I don't know what the second one is. Where do they even put a second one? Wait, what is all that in there? Okay. Oh. My. Arceus. Guys, this card. Might be the best Raikou artwork and card layout colors that I've ever seen in my life. Now, I'm not just saying that. Holy. One thing that just is terrible is that unfortunately it is extremely messed up. But I'm in love with this card. Oh my god, what is this? What is all this? There's like an insert that's teaching us about shiny Pokemon. So normal Pokemon and then shiny version. What is a shiny Pokemon? A shiny Pokemon is a very rare Pokemon that has a different color than normal. Look for special shiny Pokemon in upcoming expansions. They're literally teaching us about shiny Pokemon here. Oh my god. And I honestly, I guess I didn't even realize that this is a shiny Raikou. I was so in love with the artwork that I didn't even take a second to realize, depending on which tin you get, I have the Raikou one, the, th the card on top is the shiny. There's the normal. And we, oh my god, that is the normal. We get, we get both versions? Oh my goodness, this is absolutely stunning. The Cracked Ice Raikou. Normal and shiny. Luckily, this card is not messed up. It looks really, really nice condition. Oh my god. Oh, here we go, here we go. We have a Heart Gold Soul Silver Base Set Booster Pack. That is insane. This is probably my favorite from the Heart Gold Soul Silver era. And then, oh, dude, are you kidding me? We got a Stormfront Booster Pack. You could pull out a Secret Rare Charizard in here. Dude, I don't know. This is just unbelievable. Dude, what? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not making this up. Like, this is actually in here. Platinum Arceus, Stormfront, and Heart Gold Soul Silver. Well, I know why this thing is worth $1,000 now. Just some of the most incredible sets from these eras. I mean, Platinum Arceus is absolutely amazing. Diamond and St uh, Pearl Stormfront is one of the best, too. And Heart Gold Silver Base. Just like the cream of the crop right here. Well, we've come so far. This is the final moments here. The $1,000 tin. Can this tin win this challenge with the best pulls? I'll tell you this. The two promo cards are unbelievable. That Raikou shiny. It's got to be my favorite artwork of the day. It's hard to say, honestly. There were so many really good ones. Secret Rare Moltres. I don't know. I don't know. This is going to be a tough one. All right. Uh, I'm just going to do, like, two from the back. It's tough to say. With There's so many different card tricks for all these sets. I don't want to spoil it. We're going to start off with a copycat. You got that amazing border there. Oh, man. Porcela. Heart Gold Soul Silver. We have Jinx. Features a lot of Gen 2s, Gen 1s. We got Caterpie. Meryl. Vault Picks. Let's continue with our luck. Can we take it up to the next level, though? We'd be getting luckier and luckier. There we go. Slow Bro Reverse. Not bad. Uncommon Reverse. I think our rare is coming up next, though. Okay, ready? 3, 2, 1. Woo, it's a Typhlosion, but the non-hollow version, not even bad. Cannot complain at all. Pokegear 3.0. We're going to move on to Stormfront from the Diamond and Pearl era. This set should be, yeah, 2008, guys. There's a Secret Rare Charizard in here. Um, I think I think it's, it's definitely thousands in a PSA 10. Super hard to pull it. Super hard to pull it. Let's give it a try, though. Let's see what we can get. Anything amazing out of this set would be cool. Any hollows, honestly. Any of the big hitter cards. Start off, we have a Machoke with the standard pose there. Magnetite. We've got Electrode. Moving into a Magnemite now. The electric types are taking over here. We got Switch. Mistrevis. $1,000 tin. Come on. Moving into a Dust Skull. Reverse Steelix. Very nice. Rare Reverse. We're crushing it with the Rare Reverses today, guys. But the final card in the pack is going to be... Oh, a Vespa Queen non-hollow rare. The final moment for the $1,000 tin. 
in the final moment for this video, Platinum RCS has some of the craziest pull rates. You can get double banger packs in here like crazy. 2009. All right. If you made it this far and you're still watching, you don't know what happened yet, leave a comment down below for a little bit of good luck. Also, after this pack, let me know which one you think won. Right now, I feel like it's the $650 tin, although the $500 tin was absolutely amazing as well. The $1,000 tin might be down, but it's not out yet. Those two promo cards were absolutely amazing, those two Raikus. And then if this pack has some crazy fire, you never know. Gasly. We got Haunter as well. Dude, let's... Dude, those are some great artworks for Gasly and Haunter. Oh, man. Let's go. Old Amber HP 50. We've got Wingle. Kabuto. Oh, dude. That looks so cool. With the eyes. It's sort of like the camera's panning. So, you have like a little bit of a light sort of thing. Trail going down there. We got Shinx. Oh, dude. Look at that Charmander. That is actually amazing. So many good artworks in these sets. It's so cool to be able to open these up. Traco as well in the tree. So fitting. Our reverse. Oh, it evolved. Let's go. The Grovial reverse. Uncommon. And our final card of our $10 tin versus our $1,000 tin is going to be. Oh, we did get a hollow Toxic Croak to end it with the $1,000 tin.